Hello everyone. Today I will discuss assignment seven for the course fuzzy set logic and system and application. In this assignment, question one to eight are of similar type and nine ten are similar type. So to solve question one to eight, we have to find the relationship between given fuzzy set A and B. So question first, fuzzy set A and fuzzy set B are given. And first of all, we have to find fuzzy relations R between fuzzy set A and B. So I already discussed in the previous uh, solution that how to find out the fuzzy relation R uh, between set A and B. Just we have to take the Cartesian product between A and B. So this will be the matrix, and or we can say this will be the relationship between uh, fuzzy set A and B, and this relation is known as the fuzzy relation. So first consider x1 element and then take by so 0.1 point 0.1 point so out of them minimum is 0.1 so we have to consider this as a 0.1 point again 0.1 point 0.3 point so minimum will be 0.1 point again we have to consider this as a 0.1 point again 0.11 point so minimum will be 0.1 point 0.1 point and 0.5 point so minimum will be 0.1 point after that we have to consider x2 element and uh, again pairing with all the other um, element of uh, fuzzy set b so in this way we are going to find the relationship between a and b and this relationship is the fuzzy relationship after that the main question uh, after find out the fuzzy relation r now question number 1 we have to find the fuzzy relation r on a fuzzy relationship r on a okay fuzzy relation r on b and from question 5 to 8 it will be fuzzy relationship on b okay so this is the relationship between fuzzy set a and b after that we have to find the fuzzy relationship on a right so what we have to consider uh, we have to consider this row okay and out of them we have to find out the maximum so in this row all the fuzzy membership value are 0.1 so maximum will be 0.1 so this will be the maximum value right again we have to consider this 0.1 0.3 0.7.5 and after that we have to find the maximum value of this and out of the maximum value is 0.7 so this will be the 0.7 and so on so we have to consider row 3 in this row maximum value is 1 so directly i am going to put this one and in the last row that is fourth row maximum value is 0.5 so this is the 0.5 so this will be the basic solution which will be required from question number 1 to 4 okay so question number and in this slide i am already calculating fuzzy relationship r on b okay so in this this will be the basic formula in the same way right now what we have to do we have to consider column okay column so out of uh, in the first column all the elements membership value are 0.1 so maximum value so i put this column as this one and in the second column we have to consider this one and this is the second column and again this will be our third column and this will be put and this is the last column that is fourth column and this column is represented by this one right so out of them we have to calculate maximum value so in this maximum value is 0.1 and in this maximum value is 0.3 and in y3 maximum value is 1.0 1.0 and in the y4 maximum value is 0.5 0.5 so this will be our projections this will be our final solution and i put this one so this will be known as rb so we already calculated ra and rb first of all we have to calculate fuzzy relation between fuzzy set a and fuzzy set b after that we have to find out fuzzy relation r on a and fuzzy relation r on b so this is rb and in the earlier slide we calculated r on a now question 
and answer will be very easy so this is the question one so in this question what uh, is the target that what will be the membership value for generic variable x1 okay x1 for projection of fuzzy relation r on a so this is the fuzzy relation r on a and it is interested in membership value for generic variable x1 so this is our x1 and for x1 our generic variable value is 0.1 so correct answer is option b question 2 what will be the fuzzy what will be the membership value for the generic variable x2 okay and for fuzzy relation r only so we have to consider x2 and x2 having the fuzzy membership value 0.7 therefore this option d will be the correct option right question number three for the fuzzy set this what will be the membership value for generic variable x3 right so we have to consider x3 for x3 membership value is one therefore correct answer will be equal to option e option e that is 1.0 question number four what will be the fuzzy membership value for the generic variable x4 okay x4 so we have to consider x4 and x4 having the membership value 0.5 therefore uh, 0.5 is the correct answer and it will be the correct option that is option c 0.5 so first four question uh, basically depend upon fuzzy relation r on a now uh, five to eight question are uh, depend upon fuzzy relation r on b so this is the fuzzy relation r on b so in this question what will be the fuzzy membership value for generic variable y1 okay y1 so we have to consider y1 for y1 the value is 0.1 that is option b is the correct answer question number six what will be the membership value for the generic variable y2 so we have to consider y2 that is this one so y2 y2 have the membership value that is 0.3 therefore 0.3 that is option a is the correct one question number seven what will be the fuzzy membership value for the generic variable y3 so we have to consider y3 and y3 having the, having the membership value 0.1 therefore this will be the correct answer so option e is the correct one question number eight what will be the generic variable value y4 so we have to consider y4 y4 having the generic membership value that is 0.5 okay so 0.5 is the correct one and correct option is c therefore question one to eight are uh, similar type now question number nine and ten are of similar type so we are given a fuzzy set a okay with the universe of discourse 0 to 10 right find a fuzzy set b with the universe of discourse y 0 to 10 in the same range as fuzzy set a using the extension principle for mapping function defined below right so given function is equal to y is equal to fx x square plus 3 so in the solution and this is my solution so x1 is equal to 1 to 3 for x uh, what are these value these value are the x1 2 3 these are the value of x right now what we have to do we have to put these value x1 to 3 in this right so when we were going to put and then what will be the value of y when x is equal to 1 y is equal to 4 when x is equal to 2 y is equal to 7 when x is equal to 3 y is equal to 12 so basically y is equal to 4 7 12 after that what we have to do that is 0 0.1 right 0 0.1 0 0.1 will be considered from here but right now uh, what we have to consider we have to consider value 4 that is instead of 1 we have to consider the value 4 so 0 0.1 upon 4 right again next membership value is equal to that is 0 0.5 we have to consider same value 0 0.5 so 0 0.5 divided by now we have to consider instead of 2 we have to consider the value 
7 that is 7 in the last instance uh, there is the value is equal to 12 but what we are given we are given that universe of discourse is 0 to 10 therefore we have to discard this value then final answer will be 0 0.1 oblique 4 plus 0 0.5 oblique 7 therefore uh, this will be our final answer and as per the given solution option a is the correct option right in the same fashion we have to calculate uh, our question number 10 uh, in this question only uh, function is changed uh, in question number 9 it it was x square plus 3 but in this time it is x square plus 1 so same repetition will be there and in this case so the value of x is equal to 1 yeah x is equal to 2 and x is equal to 3 so put x 1 1 2 3 in this particular function and find out the value of y so in this case value of y uh, are 2 5 10 and uh, universe of discourse is given uh, 0 to 10 therefore it lies in within the universe of discourse and after this just final answer will be 0.1 by 2 0.5 uh, in this uh, final answer during the final answer we have to consider these value as the membership value as it is 0 0.1 0 0.5 and 1.0 but now in fuzzy set b we have to consider these value are the uh, generic uh, variable value that is 2 5 10 so 0 0.1 0 0.5 1 so correct answer in this case is equal to option c uh, i hope so uh, in the last assignment uh, accuracy was 100 percent in assignment uh, 5 accuracy was also 100 uh, percent i i am 100% sure in this assignment will also accuracy will be 100% and if there is any discrepancy just let me know so that we can update ourselves and uh, uh, update the solution with 100% accuracy thank you so much uh, today assignment 8 already released and uh, today itself I made the solution and I will put the next video within one to two days thank you so much